Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 65th session of the Economic Commission for Europe, which I am honored to chair and which I now declared open. Uh, immediately, I would like to move to the adoption of the agenda. I invite you to refer to the provisional agenda as contained in document E slash EC slash 1463. Does any delegation wish to propose any change to the agenda? I see none, thank you. However, I would like to propose a change to the agenda, and that is to cancel item five of the provisional agenda, as we no longer need a separate decision on the change of name of the Timber Committee on Forest and Forest Products as endorsed by the Executive Committee. The matter is already covered in the review outcome document, and since we do not foresee any other decision apart from the decision to adopt the review outcome document under item 4, I, I think that we don't need item 5 anymore. Is this agreeable to all? I see no objections. Thank you very much. I now declare the agenda adopted as orally revised. Now, allow me to make a short opening statement, as this is one of the duties of the chair. So, Excellencies, Mr. Executive Secretary, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to welcome the high-level speakers at this opening session, as well as other speakers and the panelists who have kindly agreed to participate and be part of this important event. The sessions of the Economic Commission for Europe provide an important opportunity for member states to gather, exchange views and experiences on issues of relevance to the region, as well as to take stock of the work of UNEC and provide guidance to its work directions for the future. Other stakeholders, a part of the member states, have been invited to participate in order to contribute with their views and experience from private sector and non-governmental organizations. In my capacity as the chairman, on behalf of the Republic of Serbia since April 2011, I have come to appreciate much more all the practical and valuable outputs of the ECE products. I must confess that I have spent a very busy two years being heavily involved in the work of EC. I witnessed an extensive engagement of member states. I chaired the executive committee, which is the governance body representing the commission during the intersessional period. I have seen and I have watched how EC is highly busy place, an entity of the UN that, despite its small size, manages to produce so much in an efficient and effective way. I have been privy to the international working of the Secretariat and have come to learn firsthand how dedicated and professional the EC staff are. I thank them and congratulate them on their dedication. The EC works for the benefit of all countries of the region, and its products are practical. They have an impact on daily lives of people. Moreover, EC norms and standards are increasingly taken up and used in other regions of the world. In the case of Serbia, I can inform you that we have over the years benefited greatly from the activities in its various areas of expertise, but you will hear more about that from one of, of the keynote speakers this morning. <coughs> However, despite all of these successes, it appears to me that EC is not sufficiently known. 
on the visibility scale, EC is not yet in its rightful place. I therefore urge all of you who are here to participate in this session to help play a role in disseminating information and advocating the EC, its works in producing norms and standards, as well as capacity building that contributes to the development and well-being of countries. And let me underline not only in the EC region, but also beyond. By your presence here today, I take it that it is your expression of appreciation of the work of EC. Let us therefore all try to make it a multilateral platform where consensus can be achieved on matters of importance to development and prosperity of this region and beyond is kept alive and further developed. Today, high-level segment will discuss the follow-up to Rio Plus 20 and post-2015 development agenda, as well as the role of innovation in creating a dynamic and competitive economy. EC works on these issues, and it's therefore highly relevant and appropriate that they are on the agenda of this session. The summary of the high-level segment will also serve as these regions' input to the global processes. The results from item two will feed into the global discussion on the same topic, and the results for item three will be submitted to the 2013 ECOSOC Annual Ministerial Review of ECOSOC. Then, in the general segment, the main item will be the outcome of the review of the 2005 reform of ECE, which has been the center of the attention of the member states for more than a year and a half. This review is an important exercise, and we will discuss its outcome under item four of the agenda. Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you productive discussion and to all of us a very successful session of the 65th Commission.